Hi, this is Emma from Centred Within and I wanted to talk about fun. It's, you don't really hear many people talk about it. Obviously talk, people talk about sharing their trauma, their mental health and all those sort of things which are very, very important. Very, very important because it gives people um, an understanding from that person's perspective or if they work with people in that way. Um, but what people, I don't hear many people talk about. And you see people, especially across social media, doing lots of funny things. And it does make me laugh. It really, really does. But sometimes it's that, should we really talk about it? You know, like the happy, the fun thing. People talk about peace and gratitude. But fun. The fun. And you can have fun. Now, it doesn't have to be like ridiculously huge it can be anything from putting on the music and dancing on your own in the bedroom in a room where you feel safe to do so that's fun if you find that sort of stuff fun i find that type of stuff fun and that's what you've got to do is find what you enjoy what makes you laugh what and it's not like a force you're not forcing you're not like scouring something to make you laugh i mean sometimes i watch that, some things and it just makes me laugh it's just really funny um but having that as a toolkit having that as an understanding having that as a knowing is a part of your it's a part of you. It's a part of you. It's an element of you. It's a facet of you. Because we are all fun. I was watching um, my sister's friend's um, reel. And it was of her daughter. She's now got to be, I don't know, let's say she's two. And she had, <laughs> she had headphones on. And obviously she was listening to music. But it was the way she was dancing on the sofa. That was just pure fun. She was in the moment enjoying it and she was having fun. We can learn so much from children when they're very young because they really know what fun is. It's nothing really spectacular. They don't, they don't go to a special thing. It's even the smallest thing will make them laugh and they find fun. We might find it annoying, but they find it fun. Because is there, it's just what's in that moment. It's just that joy in that moment. And that's where we can reconnect back into that. To know we are allowed to have fun. Even the days where you're feeling the way you're feeling. Don't force the fun. Don't force the happiness. Allow that moment to be. <clears throat> Allow that time to be. But there will be a time where you will feel different and maybe you can inject fun, but it doesn't have to be like glaring, roaring, laughing fun. It could be as simple as maybe you do want to start listening to music and just moving around the room. It doesn't have to be any sort of dance moves and do that for five, ten minutes. moving your body and you actually might find that's fun it can be um maybe there's a particular person you like connecting with and when you do that there's that fun element because of what you talk about and how, what you share and it's just fun or you go and meet someone for a coffee and you find that's fun the comparison of fun or what you think fun should be puts it into a more of a, a control element and it will not be fun because you think you've got to do this to be fun, to be happy. No, because what yours is to what someone else is is very, very different. Someone may find fun um, looking through a book of stamps to someone else. It'd be like, oh my gosh. 
but to them that's fun they're having the best time ever they're looking so for you it may be cooking a dish that you know you love and you have fun doing it now someone said that to me over like oh So it's finding what your fun is and knowing that you have that there. So when you do have those moments that you just want to tap into that, you want to feel that. And the more that you do it, the more that you have that outlet as well, the more that you have that resource, that tool that you can use when the moment comes in when you feel that moment when you're in tune to that moment it's not using that moment to try and get you out of another feeling because you need to feel that feeling you need to be in that feeling and accept that feeling for what it is and not try and hide or suppress it by being fun and laughing and that's what um you know, I've listened to um, Jim Carrey say that he used to suppress certain feelings by acting a certain way because he was funny and people found him funny, but he kept that going for other people instead of himself. So it's not used to suppress or hide or think you should be. It's a tool that you use to fully be you and you're not going to want to do it all day every day because it wouldn't be fun because it then would become something you think oh I've got to go and do that now fun is very spontaneity very spontaneity it's very sp spontaneous I was trying to say two the two the one word in two different contexts <laughs> it's just and that's where the children have it is in the moment one minute they might be having fun, the next minute they might be bawling their eyes out. But in that moment, they've had the best time ever. Then after they've bawled their eyes out, they might have the best time ever afterwards. Because in that moment, they were enjoying and having fun. Then they were really upset or angry and they were bawling their eyes out. Then that moment finished and then they found something else. So each moment, they were truly in that moment. And if you've ever watched a child do that, they can do that with such grace and ease and flow. When they get older, it does change because other elements come into play. But if you look at children at a certain age, they can go on a roller coaster. And at the end, it's like, you know, they might have had the biggest screaming, meltdown, crying. And then half an hour later... It's so different. So, you know, we, we lose that. We lose that ability. We do lose that ability. And it's about looking at gaining that back. What is fun? What makes you laugh? What do you enjoy doing? What do you love doing? Now, fun doesn't mean you have to laugh. You can just smile. That's fun. It just, the energy in you changes. You may want to do something silly. I remember once I went trampolining with my nieces and nephew. <laughs> but I had fun. I was dreading it. <laughs> the reason why I was dreading it, because they're so bouncy and Children come on and bounce next to you really hard and you're bouncing all over the place. But I had fun. I had loads of fun. But at the beginning I was like, oh gosh, I can't believe I'm doing this. Or you see other adults and they were bouncing and flipping. I was like, oh, I was just going up and down, doing my thing. Trying to keep away from the big children that were making big ripples on my trampoline. But that was fun. And I witnessed a lot of that when I was living with my sister and brother-in-law and my nieces and nephew, that fun element. That in the moment fun. 
And I do it from time to time. Sometimes I, um, when I'm getting ready in my bedroom, I put my music on, I'm dancing around, I sing to the music. Now, if you could hear me sing, I just wouldn't even do that to anyone. Unless you're um, a very dear friend or a loved one, and then when it's your birthday, I'll sing you happy birthday. It's a tradition and I do it. And um, I'll, I always do it. That's the only time you'll hear me sing, unless you're in the room with me. But the music is going anyway, and it's somewhat drowning out um, my tones. I remember someone saying, everyone can sing. Yeah, no doubt. I could probably get a singing teacher and all that sort of stuff. <laughs> Good luck. But I find that fun. I probably look ridiculous. I know I would sound ridiculous, but in that moment, and I don't do it every day, sometimes I do it in the morning, sometimes I do it in the evening, or sometimes I'm in the kitchen, and I just do, I'll tell you what I do, when I clean sometimes, I put my headphones on, just so I can listen to music and do my thing, do a bit of cleaning. And the other day I was doing it in the kitchen, and where the cottage is, there's a walkway, so people are walking up and down the whole time. And I was busting my moves in the kitchen while I was cleaning. Now, anyone could have seen me. I didn't think at the time. But then I thought, well, in that moment, I wasn't really thinking about who was looking at me. I wasn't even really thinking about the kitchen. I was listening to this piece of music that I loved. And I was just busting my moves in the kitchen. So if anyone saw, they saw. But I was just having fun, even though I was cleaning. So it's like tapping into that. And knowing it's okay to have those moments because sometimes we think oh you know we really shouldn't be but why not because it brings so much to us it shows so much to us we explore more about us and we open up to greater things i'm just thinking there's anything else that needs to come through just, um, there's this pigeon for the last two, this is, the, this is day three, I think, was it the second day? He will fly, so there's a, this is a thatched roof cottage, and there's a, I don't know why, there's like a, 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 a metal bar that goes from one of the thatches, because there's a thatched cottage over there as well. It's quite a strange setup, it's like a load of cottages, but not many people living here, but attached to, and it will fly, it's there now. Oh, it's got a little twig. So it'll fly up to the little metal um, piping. It's not a pipe. It's just like a some sort of attachment. And it'll fly down to my back door. And then when some, because a lot of people walk up and down, down here is like a pathway. And then it'll fly back up and it'll fly back. And it does that. So I don't know if it's making a nest or trying to make a nest. Because it's always got something in its mouth. I mean, it's some. It's a big old bird, and my bedroom is um, there, so I can hear it. It's having its best life, doing its thing, whatever it's doing. I mean, there's no way it can make a nest up here. It's gigantic. It's huge. It's the biggest pigeon ever. So it's obviously eating some amazing seeds around here and food. I mean, the food here is amazing. Not that it would be eating the food, but. If the food's that good quality, probably what the pigeons are getting is really good quality. Um, so yeah. And even that, you see, that's just fun. Probably can hear it, you might even hear it in the in the recording. Anyway, I think that really is it. So I'm gonna go. The pigeon will keep on doing its thing. And in that moment, you can just recognise, yeah, I've had fun doesn't have to be the biggest, huge ceremony. It can be the simplest of things, but it's the most potent of things. As always, sending you so much love. Bye.